while death stalks their city, a dozen Ukrainian women wait to bring new life into the world. In an underground hospital shelter turned makeshift maternity ward in this battered northeastern city, one heavily pregnant young woman perches on the edge of her bed, unable to be still, to rest. Another curls on her side, tenderly cradling her swollen abdomen. Yet another, only a teenager, scrolls through her phone for updates on what's happening in the blast rock streets above. In Kharkiv, one of the most relentlessly bombarded cities in Ukraine, none of these expectant mothers embarked on a pregnancy believing that nine months of hopes and cares would culminate in the midst of a savage war. That they would find themselves giving birth in a below-ground suite of dilapidated rooms with low ceilings and dim lighting, with sputtering electricity and oxygen canisters that run perilously low. It was not their choice, said staff Renana Pasishvili, who was born in this hospital 47 years a. It's scary here. Many expectant mothers and their families escaped Kharkiv after the war began February 24. The country's second largest city, just 25 miles from the Russian border, was an early target of Moscow's all-out offensive, subject to weeks of pitiless attacks that have left whole neighborhoods in ruins. But for some mothers to be, their time was too near, the danger of fleeing too great, the complex calculus of risk impossible to untangle. One in four Ukrainians have been driven from their homes, with 11 million people either internally displaced or becoming refugees in other lands. For a few fleeting days, Ukrainians, and a watching world, believe that hospitals like this one would not be deliberately targeted. They were quickly disabused of that notion, the World Health Organization says at least 86 health facilities have been attacked since the start of the war. The most notorious of those Russian strikes came in the besieged port city of Mariupol, where a maternity hospital was bombarded on March 9. In what became a wrenchingly iconic photo, a pregnant woman was carried away on a stretcher, her face pale against a bleak field of grey rubble, a polka-dotted blanket dangling below her, 